I just seen my bro post a video about like how the dolphins was protecting the well from having birth and everything from the sharks and shit, bro. Them niggas is woke. That's what y'all need to do. Wake up. Wake up. TikTok might wake you up to this matrix. This be the beat. These these couple next one is crazy, yo. If you still eating this after watching this, hey, I don't know what to tell you. Not even that fruits and vegetables even safe, bro. Ain't nothing safe in this bitch. Hey, so I got some scary chicks I'm gonna wake you up to this matrix. Get straight into these TikToks. Y'all make sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Share it to your families. Get right into it. The reason why y'all see me laying down is because I'm tired of the bullshit. Yeah, I, I thought. And why isn't anybody talking about so asteroids falling from the sky? I don't know. <sighs> to make matters worse, people are speculating that this is a part of something much bigger. Yeah, like y'all heard about this devil comment that everybody been talking about? And y'all want to know the best part about this comment? Is this heading towards Earth? <laughs> Huzzah! Isn't that just delightful? Now I want y'all to think about something. We have asteroids falling out the sky. And something called the Devil Comet that's heading towards Earth. And they trying to say they related. Did y'all think about that? Cause I didn't. The BS got me exhausted. I think I need a nap. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube if y'all want that exclusive content. And hit that business email if y'all trying to work. I'ma catch y'all in the Astros. What the heck? Hit something. Harry and the Hendersons. You to watch this move across the skies. It sounds slow or something else. Transformers. Let me know what y'all think that is. Flying across the sky. Let me know what y'all think. Exploded. What is that? I can't. I'm recording. I don't want to move. I got to record this. We're on Something Earth exploded and now this is in the sky. <gasps> what is that? Scientists discovered that another ocean has been underneath the Earth's core this entire time and it's three times bigger. Reading this reminds me of two things. Inner Earth 
and that the ocean is actually space. And this is actually kind of shown in the movie Journey to the Center of the Earth. Check this out. Bro, I love that movie. For the ones that seen it, that movie's so classic. I might have to go watch, re watch that movie, bro. Somebody said everything in the Moana is true. I don't. Hey, gotta decode these movies, bro. They literally be showing us this stuff in movies. And the center of the Earth's would be Earth's core. And they also even speak on Hollow Earth or Inner Earth in the movie Kong vs. Godzilla. Where there's all types of mythical creatures like Godzilla and Kong and flying dragons and all that other stuff. And yes, I personally do believe there are things like that that exist inside of our Earth. Beneath us. I see. It's so many things about this realm that we don't know about, but we only see it in movies. And movies is how they tell the truth without actually telling the truth. I definitely feel like more things like this will be discovered, actually <clears throat> talked about and presented to us. And when it does, it's gonna be a whole new world for real. And they say that flowers are blooming in Antarctica, so we're gonna see how this goes. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this in the comments. And let me know what y'all think about that. Everyone is starting to find out that it's illegal that you can't communicate with dolphins. But no one understands why. Peep this. It is against the law to interact with dolphins unless you're at these places. And it's not to protect the dolphins, right? It's to stop you from getting connections with them. Why is that? Listen to this. Fuck you, the dolphins. So, as Vulcans, we was living in the water? Yeah. All right, all right. I'll tell you, it's about 19 galaxies that's going to cluster. And most of those galaxies are water galaxies. This is a water galaxy. Most of all the planets in this galaxy, especially on this side, are water planets. All the planets in your solar system are water planets. Does that explain why they forgot to smoke so smart? They had a long journey. They in connection with the Andromedans, and they come from Cyrus. Dolphin has the mind of a child, a kid. Oh, okay. So, uh, Basically, what he was stating was is that the dolphins been here since the creation. And since they haven't been wiped out and brainwashed like us, they understand everything that happened and seen it all, bro. That's the real reason why they don't want y'all to interact with dolphins. I just seen my bro post a video about like how the dolphins was protecting the well from having birth and everything from the sharks and shit, bro. Them niggas is woke. That's what y'all need to do. Wake up. Wake up. TikTok might wake you up to this matrix. This be me. These these couple next one is crazy, yo. If you still eating this after watching this, hey, I don't know what to tell you. Not even that fruits and vegetables even safe, bruh. Ain't nothing safe in this bit. He ain't got no guts. I cleaned him out. It's a bowfin. He ain't got no head. It's in the sink. But he's and still I'm, alive. And I am fighting him left and right to scale it. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no freaking way this is real. Yeah. It's, there ain't no dude again. Okay, wait, wait. This can't be real. He ain't got no guts. He ain't got no head. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I don't believe that. Yeah, because the towel ain't slippery. Oh my god. He ain't got no head. Oh my god. Do it again. <laughs> Hold on to him. 
right? No guts. No guts. There ain't no guts in there. See? And that's candy. And now I'm just pulling. They should be just... ready to put in the pan. <laughs> Crazy. This machine is 3D printing steak. The goal is to create a piece of meat without killing a cow. It's no secret that beef is one of the most damaging foods for the planet. The global beef industry produced nearly 75 million tons of meat in 2020. That's about 19 pounds for each person on the planet. But plant-based alternatives to meat have grown into a $5.6 billion industry. Now, researchers in Israel are taking on one of the big... I don't know why, I just see it different, bro. Seeing that meat, bro, made me want to throw up now. ...biggest challenges, growing steaks in a lab. But can lab-grown steak or plant-based alternatives really fix the broken beef industry? A study funded by the company found that, pound for pound, its product generates about 90% less greenhouse gas emissions than traditional beef. Still, for many scientists, the holy grail is to not just imitate me, but actually make it. This Grocery store garbage, avoid Beyond Meats. Here's something yeah, close about attention to this one. Beyond Meat is facing a federal lawsuit for falsely representing that its products are free from synthetic ingredients. Beyond Meat contains methylcellulose, which is a synthetic laxative that they essentially need to put in their products because it lacks natural fibers and nutrients that your body needs. These are Weird. the harmful and processed foods you definitely want to stay away from. Stay away. Grocery store. Were you guys aware that the UK is flooded? Look at this guy. He's sitting down drinking a Guinness beer in the middle of sewage water. Sewage water. This lady literally has water at her doorstep. Y'all look at Crazy. what the hell? The water is knocking. The water is knocking on the glass. Hey, what y'all doing to happen to you, bro? Hey, it happened so quick. What can you do, bro? And she don't even have to open the door. The water's letting itself in. Oh my goodness, y'all. She doesn't even happen to open the door. The water's letting itself in. Yo, what is going on in the world? That's crazy. Oh my goodness, I feel so, wow. It's crazy because so much is going on in America and not just America, but the whole world is feeling it. ...of England and Wales swamped after a week of torrential rain. And on already saturated ground, there's nowhere for the water to go. Their homes inundated, people packed their bags, carrying their pets and each other out of harm's way. Boats, the only means of transport, as entire communities were marooned. There's nobody here to help us at all. Uh, we've been sort of left on our own really to fend for ourselves. And now there's a warning for ice, fog and frost settling across my... It's crazy how water makes the way for so many other things to come your way. Cold, frost, sleet, snow. Oh, wow. Oh, shit, it's real, folks. Welcome to the age of Aquarius. Why is it dark over there? Look, it's a shadow casted on this whole area. Y'all see this whole area is shiny, right? Weird. Right here is shiny, but back there, That's it's weird. dark. I've noticed that. But look, it's clear things. skies. There are no clouds. So what is above that is casting a big shadow back there? That everything else is shining and the sun is shining on it, but there's a big shadow casting over that area over there so what do you think that is my people man this is crazy because it's like you cannot trust everything that you see or that you that. think you see are you really seeing it if you do see it and that's what i mean we live in this game of illusion this is a great illusion that we're living like why is this happening why is this happening why is that part of the building dark and there's nothing over it to caught to cast that overcast this world is getting crazier every single day. More things are getting found out about. Like, we're finding glitches all over the Matrix this year. I told y'all, when so many glitches happen in the Matrix, the Matrix has no choice but to come into an end because everybody's realizing that we're literally in a game. We're in the Matrix. And that's why it kept us in the Matrix in the first place. We didn't know we were in the Matrix. Now we do know, we must exit.
or for the lack of better terms we are ascending not exiting we are ascending because yeah, we, are we are aware, aware yeah. that we have been in a video game okay so let me know what you guys think about this video could this be a possible glitch what do you think is happening down this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations during just interesting times thank you for tuning to my frequency like share and share follow for more videos like this, like this. we in this shift y'all and we getting it peace in Check this out my people, this is by far one of the craziest video I've ever seen. These two raccoons was running together and one of them got hit. Now I want you to watch this raccoon over here, check it out, look at that. It looks like he's praying and he falls down and boom, did you see that? It was like a shadow that left his body. Did you see that? Now did you see that? It looks like he's praying and he falls down and boom, did you, did see, you that? see that? It was it's like a shadow a that left his body. People say in the comments is the bird. It definitely like was perfect timing though. That's body. Did you oh, see yeah. that? Now, I don't know what I don't know if this raccoon over here was its um girlfriend or son or daughter or something like that. But do you believe that it was the emotional body of this raccoon leaving him? Or it? I don't know. I don't know if that's again yeah, anything can identify as anything it. nowadays. But um, anything. do you believe that was the emotional body of that raccoon leaving him? And now, like, he's on the ground, like, he got knocked out by some type of energy. She's crazy, man. It goes, she, animals have feelings, too. The word animals oh, comes still, from the word, the word animate. Animals. Animate means having life, having soul. That's why he went back there. He's caring for his significant other or whatever it may be. See? And this is what humans do. We encroach on nature's territory. These roads aren't supposed to be here. True that, true that. That's why you see trees and grass and everything. And they had to make a way. They had to make the road. They forced their way through. Shit crazy. We're literally on their territory. Like I've been saying, though, in general. Give you out here disturbing peace. These people, These people came, came on the came planet, on planet and moved nature out of where nature is supposed to be, where God intended nature to be, and they're making roads where nature's supposed to be. And now because of this, animals are suffering the consequences. They're getting ran over every single day. They're getting crushed, all these type of things. And it makes perfect sense as to what's happening to the planet right now because nature is taking back the planet. Nature is God. God is connected, is connected to, nature. to nature. This is why this animals way. know to get away when trouble, is about to, when trouble is about to ensue. Hey, let me know what y'all think, though, about that. To find out what was going on. Where did he get that information from? Where did he d get yeah, it from? Where to know I should it? stop eating meat and stuff like that. Well, it was a, it's a gentleman. I don't know if he's still alive. His name was George Cervillo. And he was a Mexican healer. And when he talked to Sadie, he, Sadie loved speaking Spanish because he was from Honduras. Mm -hmm. So he's speaking Spanish. Man, I'm going to help you. And the guy had a book. It was called Herbology for Home Study. And me and him both got the book. And that book tells you everything. It breaks down. I'm a chemist by trade. Mm -hmm. it, breaks it breaks down, down everything, everything, everything in form. Shows, shows you how it affects the body. Hey, but it won't be mainstream to everybody to know information. Unless you know that. You know, no you gotta go dig and dive in no deep. When is there such thing as this life that is generated from the earth when we didn't take that life? I heard, I heard Dr. Sebi say that one time. He was like, what is protein powder? It's non-existent. That's just a name. There's nothing that lives that's in our body. Think about the gorilla. What protein is he getting? So it don't even come and from plants? Like, not at all. He, he don't need protein. And he bigger than all of us. He eating green leaves. Yeah. Whatever protein they say exists got to exist in that. Yeah. That is a westernized formula that's man-made in a laboratory. How can a white substance help me with my proper nutritional value hmm. you want minerals such as that sea moss you just took that's going to provide you with more minerals than that white substance than anything in gmc mm -hmm. you can go get the biggest protein bag it's not going to provide you with 90 it's so it gets so so much to so much to over 100 100 minerals, period period humans are not supposed to be drinking animal milk Hey, what y'all think? Cause it's crazy. Every every baby is supposed to drink the milk of their mother. A, a calf is supposed to drink cow milk, not a human. A, a baby goat is supposed to drink goat. A, a human is supposed to drink human milk. Once you get off human milk, you're not supposed to drink milk anymore. 
the same elements that you think you get in milk exist in green vegetables and fruit. Your calcium comes in green vegetables. So uh, when you're drinking whole milk, you're drinking pus with blood. When you men now, that's why, that's why they tell your mama not to drink and smoke because it gets in the bloodstream and then the baby is digesting what's in mama's bloodstream. Not what's in the milk. What's in the milk is in the milk, but also the bloodstream is in the milk too. So when you're milking that cow, that's why I gotta go through that processing machine and do all this. But man, naturally, homie, that's some nasty shit, homie. And so, almond, almond milk, milk is not milk. Almond, almond milk, milk is man-made man milk. Some shit they done process in the, in the laboratory. No cap, Human. though. I always wonder how. Bro, that's weird. Top four best waters to drink. Number one is distilled water. A lot of y'all don't even know this type of water exists, but it is one of the best type of waters to drink. Because when you distill water, it removes any and all chemicals and other things that are not supposed to be in the water. At number two, we have the Mountain Valley Spring Water or any type of glass spring water. The best type of water to drink for you is the glass bottles because it's just way better quality water and you're not really supposed to drink water out of plastic bottles anyways. At number three, we have a brand called Evian. This brand has some of the best type of spring water and it comes from the Evian Mountains. It's actually so good for you that they came out with their own hydration spray. And at number four, we have any type of spring water. Honestly, spring water is the best type of water to drink because it comes naturally from a spring and it has no other additives or chemicals that be in these waters. Now, if you like this list and want to see other helpful information like this, make sure to drop me a follow and subscribe on YouTube, link in bio, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's if you still eat McDonald's after watching this video, I don't even know what to crazy. tell you. I don't even know what to tell you. This guy pours hot molten copper in. Cause this crazy. 1,984 degrees Fahrenheit over a McDonald's sandwich. At that temperature, the copper should slice right through the sandwich like a hot knife through butter. Hot but as you see, the bread right? doesn't disintegrate, the meat turns to rubber, and even the pickles and lettuce are left untouched. No wonder your stomach can't digest fast food. The food is engineered not to be digested, which causes it to sit in your intestine, which makes you gain weight and leads to diabetes and other gut-based abnormalities leading to more disease. If you love yourself, if you love your children, stop feeding them this poison. If you love your children. <laughs> if this is not reason enough to stop giving your kids McDonald's, then think of the disease that will come from fake foods like diabetes, cancer, obesity, and many more. Share this video and tag your friends. If we can save just one child today, it will be worth it. I do not care what anybody says. That is that not is real food. food. I honestly don't understand why you would keep eating it after watching. Parasites. There's a reason why. And it's cheap. <laughs> Beep you on the budget. Hey, but is it more worth than your life? No, definitely not. Watching this video. McDonald's doesn't even taste that good. Hey, but if you're trying to detox your body from all this, make sure to buy you some CMOS right, right now. now. Link in bio. It's all made right. by me. And make sure, if you agree that that isn't real food, make sure to dominate that little plus button. Let's get it. You won't believe what Kodak Black has to say about selling your soul. Watch what he said. So let's talk about the working with you on future voodoo. You into that? Yeah, what about it? Mm, uh -huh. I know already. Okay, what about it? You into it? If I'm into a song? Boodle. No, no, no. That was That's his song. He named it that. Okay. So, boom. Look at that. Mm -hmm. He said, don't get the plan. But are you Everything not? named Voodoo, they think it's Haitian shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got something that is. It's the same thing. No, I see y'all. I see y'all.
Y'all let me know what y'all think. What is selling your soul? Can you really sell something that don't even belong to you? Hmm. Is there a human DNA inside the hot dogs that you eat? Let's find out. I'm pretty sure that you guys are aware that hot dogs is made out of this to your right, which basically is like leftover chicken, pork, beef, just excess trimming of food that hasn't been used in other areas. However, let's dive deep and see what's truly inside this Frankenstein of what people call hot dogs. There was a study done out of 375 hot dogs, 2% of those samples contains human DNA. Now I know before you close out the video, I'm not saying asking like somebody's pinky got cut off in the making of the hot dog. I'm talking about before it's even actually turned into the process of a hot dog. This is what I'm referring to. This is what hot dogs look like before it even gets to the production facility. What is this actually truly made of? Who even knows? Because this piece of glock could be filled with anything. Know what you're consuming before you actually consume it. Oh, is there human DNA inside the hot This is how walking barefoot can detox your body from any inflammation. If you didn't know, your body has electrons and the earth has electrons, so you commence a direct contact with the earth, your body produces cytokines to help with the inflammatory process. Those electrons enter the body through specific acupuncture points and through the mucosa's membrane, which is right under your feet skin. So if you're dealing with arthritis, infections, obesity, any type of cancers, just take five minutes a day to go outside and ground yourself and that will help with your inflammation issues easily. This video shows a bear attempting to pass through huge parasites caused by eating salmon. Parasites are more likely to appear in wild caught salmon due to the fresh water. Cooking is not guaranteed a chance that all parasites have been eliminated. Once the worms are ingested, it will then travel to your lungs, liver, it's or tough. other organs and it will lay there. People be wondering why they sick. Like, can you actually go a day without eating this stuff? A week? You don't need it, bro. It's X. And that could be harmful causing abdominal pain. If you ain't gonna die if you don't eat it, dang. Fever. Them worms and parasites be feeding off you inside, man. Or diarrhea. If you do or still choose to eat wild caught salmon, always check to see if there's any parasites or any worms in your fish. This video shows a bear attempting crumble cookies, toxins, ingredients have been exposed with proof. The first cookie on this list is banana cream pie, which has over 80 ingredients per one cookie now. It has artificial dyes such as yellow five and yellow six, and it has an ingredient called TBHQ for freshness. Let's see what that really is. TBHQ is a chemical compound that is going to cause liver enlargements, neurotoxin effects, paralysis, and convulsions to your body. This ingredient is also banned in Japan and the United Kingdom, but it's allowed in the United States. And number two, which also has over 80 ingredients, is the strawberry shortcake, which is filled with nothing but sugars. Powder sugar, regular sugar, disaccharides, monosaccharides, dextrose. Did you know that every single cookie at Crumble Cookies has, has we have a million ingredients? 76 grams of sugar per one cookie. Yellow five and yellow six are synthetic food dyes. And as you can see, we stated it should not be in lot of foods because it can cause adrenal tumors. But it's allowed in the United States. In your cookies. Want to see other flavors exposed? Like for part two. Crum crumble cookies, toxins, and after watching this video, you may never eat chicken again. 99% of chicken is actually made inside of factory farms, and it's also the most genetically produced animal protein of all animals. In the past, chickens took about a year or two to grow to its actual full size, but now in the age that we are now, it takes about 42 days with GMO. That's about 65 times faster than what it's supposed to be. Here's why you should be concerned about it. Due to the harsh environments of the factories that the chickens live in, these chickens can get these things called ammonia burn. Once the chicken now has systems of ammonia burn, it will now have issues with breathing issues and inflammation. Now, finally, that the chicken that's made all the way to your store shelves, this is what you're getting. You're getting GMO chicken, ammonia burn chicken, full of seed oils, and you're wondering why your Costco chicken only costs four dollars. After watching this video, you may stop. You're not gonna want to miss this. Yeah, zoom in right there. This one's crazy, bro. Shit burgers. Beyond. This scientist has created a way to transform human feces into burgers. Oh, it's just the beginning. It gets a lot crazier. Yeah, they synthesize the food from human waste matter. And they created it into an edible steak created from human feces. Like, what? Hold on, where's the protein from this steak coming from? See, Mr. Akita found that the mud contained a great deal of protein because of all the bacteria. I literally can't make this up. And then they added red food coloring and soy protein to try to cover up the ass secretion flavor Bruh. of these poop burgers. They go along to say this scientist doesn't believe in human waste. He said it's perfectly good protein that you're sending out to the sea. Bro, I'm in tears reading this, bro. They said he found a way to extract it and mix it with steak sauce. The only reason why he said he created this turn burger what? is because Tokyo is under sewage. And the only way out is to eat it. 
And I'm sorry, but me personally, there's not a crisis in this world that can make me wrap my lips around this burger that's full of a thousand years of ass clap. But this really what the world has come to, feces burgers. Y'all let me know what y'all think about them creating poop burgers in the comments. Stop, you're not going to miss this because there's something strange going on in the waters. And this video was shot about a week or two ago, right? I just need y'all to pay attention on how the fish is acting. And see, at first I'm thinking everything is okay. You know what I'm saying? Just probably like a fishy trap or something like that. Until I start realizing that them fish dead. Them fish that's coming up. Since all the water is beginning to surface, what's all the mountains are awakening? The animals are safe. On the shore is dead. Something in the water is making them flop out of the water and die. Something fishy is going on. And I'm not talking about no McDonald's fish sandwich. And there has been multiple videos of schools and schools of fish just washing up on shore dead. What's going on? Would y'all believe me if I told y'all that the technology that we're using is the technology of the old world? We all heard about nothing new under the sun, right? It's even in scripture, Ecclesiastics 1 and 9. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There's nothing new under the sun. <coughs> There's nothing new under the sun. This is the Aztec hieroglyph of somebody on a computer. There's mm -hmm. nothing new, new under I've never seen that. the sun. That's a helicopter. That's a tank. That look like some kind of UFO. Another Aztec glyph. Don't these look like missiles and they loading them up into some kind of UFO or flying craft? Oh, bicycles and motorbikes. That's not new either. Ancient light bulbs. This is an ancient phone with Sumerian text on the numbers. And I literally can go hours and hours on showing y'all there's nothing new under the sun. All this technology that we're using is technology of the old world. Everybody talking about this reset, but not knowing this ain't the first one. This technology gets recycled because it goes in a cycle. I'm just saying, if you don't know, now you know. So did y'all hear about them having a portal or an entrance to the underworld underneath a church in Mexico? What we're about to see is something that was never taught in school. We have portals or entrances to the underworld. Yeah, I said it right. Entrances to the underworld and they're under a church. Isn't that ironic? The underworld entrance is under a church in Mexico. And what and I'm what thinking I'm is the same indeed. way you can come in and out of this gate or this portal, something else can too. Yes, yeah, something else can too. Now, ready our eyes to see what y'all about to see. The gates to the underworld. Right here. 4K. What the heck? On the top, it say Diablo, and we know what that means. <clears throat> Let's just take a second to marinate in the thought that we really have gates to the underworld. Yeah, we living in some strange, strange time. Yeah, this is just a reminder. They still have sentient fruit and vegetables and other, you know, um, what would you call it? Oh, yeah, food. That's sentient. Food. Yeah, y'all keep hearing me saying it because this shit's sentient. That means it can feel pain. Ew, bro, that's making me want to throw up. And it's aware. Bro. And it's knowledge. It's a living being. Yeah. They can feel just like me and you. You know why? Because they're sentient. Y'all remember that other video I dropped a while back? One of these hella fake, bro. Bananas are hella fake. A lot of shit is fake, bro. Got to pick your Run away. A banana running away. That's outrageous. Crazy. A chicken bone. Wiggling. It's so sentient that fries is twerking. Fries do you twerk? twerking fries, fries now, gang. 
pork and fries. Bruh. Sentience, the ability to perceive or feel things. You know, like me and you, we're sentient, so we can perceive or feel things. Like you can feel emotions, like in pain inside of your body. You know, that's fucking great. Let me know what y'all think about this sentient food in the comments. These are real bananas. No, I actually want to try them, bro. Looks just like a regular banana. Hmm. See? Look at that. I'm supposed to eat them seeds too. Full of seeds. It tastes exactly. Unless you want to grow, unless you want to grow them. Exactly <laughs> the same like a regular banana, but you can actually plant these seeds and you'll have a new banana tree. There you go. New trees seeds. are growing. This is what a real banana looks like. Let me get one. Then what's your name then? This dog looks creepy as a bit. This isn't a normal horse. I've looked up a weird situation like this. It's actually a skinwalker trying to form itself like an animal. When we work night security 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and we see something coming at us at midnight. Who is it? Raylan! <laughs> is this a skinwalker on his roof? Bro, what in the ever-loving shit am I looking at right now? Dude? Yeah, we saw this. Dude, this kid's coming up on me. Like... Hey, buddy. Are you okay? You can't be out here. Where's your mommy? Hey, buddy. Holy shit. Man, like, what is that, bro? What type of car? What is that? Vehicle. What is the fuck? Reptilian Can NK. somebody please explain this video? What the hell going on here, America? A whole gray reptilian. Come on, come on, bitch on alert. Come on, leave them coming. Y'all see it? He trying to duck off. Knowing he owed us. He done came to our land, stole our land, and now he's trying to hide. How protein is made. This one crazy. Okay, y'all. Ain't no way. This is for entertainment purposes only. Entertainment purposes only. I am genuinely curious once again, y'all. Um, so hmm. Is this how protein is made? The whey powder that are in stores. Whey protein. Is this how it's made? What is that? Are are those were, were, please don't tell me those were not what I think they were. Were they? Were they pretzels? Turmeric. If it's turmeric, then that's what's up. But it's not. What? Do you think they were turmeric? Please let me know, y'all. But this is whey powder protein. What? See, this is why we cannot trust anything they be giving us. That's crazy. We don't know how they process and all that shit. I get my protein from fruits. And vegetables. People be like, where you getting your protein, bro? Don't worry about yourself, bro. Y'all eat this? Oh my goodness. Oh my, my goodness. goodness. Nah. Alright. Um. 
just to, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on a cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky shit, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. Do your thing. Got you on camera balloon. now, so let's just, uh, mm, see? That right there. Um, Ooh, okay. Hey, yo. That's crazy, man. See, no, no, no. You know why they're giving us fucking free french fries? Did you see the report? Their profits for the third quarter alone were 6.7. Why he said to eat at McDonald's, I become physically ill like a hango. Like, what? Are you supposed to be feeling good from eating food? Billion fucking dollars. What kind of idiots are we here in America to take this shit that is not fit for a fucking dog and put it up your ass? At what point are you going to fucking realize they're not fucking going away? It's either them or us. 6.7 billion dollars in profits in three fucking months. You don't see a motherfucking problem with that, right? Let's keep these motherfuckers in business. Trash. New York has the biggest rats in the world, oh my god. What the hell going on here? Nah, this one crazy. This one crazy. That goddamn. <laughs> Master Splinter and everything. been eating crazy in those zoos, These animals are about to evolve, bro. They are the Damn! Damn, get out. Dude, get out. What the hell? It just vibing. It just vibing. What the? <laughs> Speaking of things falling from the sky, this was videotape in North Charlotte, Carolina. Y'all check this out. What the hell is this? What is that? I mean, we can clearly see it, but we can't tell what it is, you guys. Can you guys see that? What is that? It's not a plane, because look, it curves out. Look, look at... This looks like a plane that got shot down and is falling down, but I can't find anything about a plane in North Carolina falling down. Um, also, the way that it balances itself out shows me that it is not a... Uh, it's it's not a plane. This is this is very intelligent. Just do it. Look at that. It's a very intelligent thing. Look at that. So far lately, so, so many, many things, things are taking place, place in the sky, and why not? Cool. Because that is the biggest screen that we have. That is the biggest projection screen that we have. The biggest television screen that we have. So we always got to be looking up. Listen to this, y'all. Listen, listen. TV 
right, but I am freaking right. So I just posted another video where a flight, it looked like it was catching fire, and it was in North Carolina. So remember I said the four points outside of this area? So something about the water right now, um, I can't, I wish I had a little, a little pointer, but, um, so <clears throat> if I, <clears throat> I'm just going to say this. If you have to take a flight right now, I will cancel it for real, because if this, if basically what happened is if that frequency is gone and the spiritual realm is here, remember the government used to always mention the ozone layer. Well, that ozone layer was actu actually um, sustaining like airplanes, electricity, gases, and whatnot. <clears throat> but if that ozone layer, whatever it is, if it's gone, airplanes can't stay in the air, so they're gonna catch fire in what you're seeing. So, um, so no words. like I said, the spiritual realm seems to be thinner on the four points. So anyone that's on the outer end, so like Cali, you got DC, you got Maine, and then, you know, new, like it's going to trickle down and then affect the inner parts. You see what I'm saying? So like the center areas on the map aren't affected yet. So if you're like in the center areas... I can't see what that is. But if you're, like, flying inward, maybe you're okay. But, um... Maybe. Yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. Well, that's been some goddamn scary TikToks that might wake you up to this matrix, bro. And make sure to like the video and share this with y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.